One of the things that's really, really important to, to point out here, you, you really um, address this very well in that, in that uh, discussion, but buyers don't buy where the business has been, right? Buyers are buying the future earnings of this company. And so if you give them a realistic projection that you've got a long track record of meeting those projections and growing the business, then you've got a better chance to get a higher price. And then, of course, I'm, I'm certain that uh, that the folks at uh, Website Closers and certainly Nate, I know, you can, if, if the buyer doesn't really believe that you've got this coming, then you can structure it in such a way that if it does come, you do get another bite of the apple, right? And so, yep. so uh, an earn out or some, some other uh, form of, of, of additional compensation if that comes in or you stay on board until it comes in and then you get a uh, another bite of that look I told you it was coming I got it here it is and let's go on our way but but it there but you got to get in the mindset you know many entrepreneurs think they always get nostalgic about gosh I've worked my butt off you know I've really this has been a lot of hard I've put a lot of sweat and equity in you know sweat equity into this business nobody's buying your sweat equity they're buying the future earnings of this business. Nobody cares about how hard you work. They all know that you had to work hard. And guess what? I'm really proud of you for doing that. And they are too. However, they're buying the future earnings of this business. And so you got to give them a realistic understanding of where that's going to go so that you can get the best possible outcome uh, in your purchase price. Yep. That's absolutely, absolutely correct. We definitely, for our 5 million and over uh, transactions, we see structured deals with earnouts and rollover equity all the time. Uh, it, it communicates a tremendous amount of confidence in your own business to a buyer. Uh, and when you start getting into meaningful numbers, uh, and, and you know, numbers can be meaningful for anybody at, at any level, uh, I see this most commonly for 5 million and over, uh, you know, in, the, in the actual sale transaction, you know, the, in the transaction price where that sort of stuff happens. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications about new videos and interviews. And introduce yourself in the comments. Are you a buyer or a seller?